<sighs> I'm done. That's it. I'm tired of babysitting with this mask. Remind people to put it on before they get in. Okay, sure, yeah. Uh, and then they do this. You know, people just don't want to wear the mask. I totally get it. But this is policy. Uber says wear it because of this uh, thing going around, virus. You know, I totally get it. But they have to follow the policy. But I'm tired of babysitting and I'm not going to babysit. So I just found a new way to do it. Let them ride. I need the money, right? He's just turning down rides. There's plenty of rides, but uh, you can make money right then. So, let them ride. Crack a window, make sure I'm wearing my mask, of course, and uh, I rate them accordingly. So it's on! And I remind them once, I put the mask on, back on their face. They, they know what they're supposed to be doing. But they refuse to do it. You don't want to get into this, this uh, confrontation. See if you do, and then, you know, even if they put the mask on, and then there's this attitude. By the time then the trip comes, <laughs> you know what kind of rating you're gonna get. And you really wanna protect your rating. So, you do the trip, and that's it. When it's time to rate them, you rate them accordingly for not wearing that mask. It protects you, your rating. Of course, you have the writers who lie to you and try to be deceptive. Only because I caught her not wearing it. But she put it on, but then she took it off again. And you're probably wondering why you see two stars. Maybe because the other writers were wearing their mask and she wasn't? Oh, this rating system is weird. It should be a one or a five. You got it right or you got it wrong, right? Vaccinated or not, you know, that virus didn't go away as of yet. And it's now February 2022. But people just don't care. Well, until that virus goes away completely, you see, we need to wear the mask and it won't go away any faster when we have these callous attitudes because we don't want to wear it. And I think Uber and Lyft, rideshare, are most at risk because uh, they're picking up people uh, from these airports from all across the world. We don't know where they're coming from, what they have, we're not vaccination police, it's not our job to know. But think about that small airspace that they're picking up passengers and carrying them all day in that small airspace. Uh, so it's a high risk, and we want to make sure they're wearing the mask. Now this rider's second stop is quite interesting. Uh, she's picking up a friend, I presume, but uh, she's wearing a long, loose turtleneck that she calls a face cover. But she uses deception to take it off, but she doesn't know. The camera's watching her. Scarf, turtleneck, oh, whichever. You know, it always seems to be the writer sitting directly behind me that chooses to be deceptive because they think you're not watching. I really feel bad for the paying writer because her friend jacked it up for her, but you think she would be more responsible to tell her to put the mask on? She wasn't. And she tipped me an undisclosed amount of money. I won't tell on the app, but I know she's mad. I take the mask policy very seriously. I mean, this stuff, uh, this stuff didn't go anywhere. Oh, that virus is still around. <laughs> 